Hey, this is Buzz with Pickleball University. Thanks for joining us here on the channel. Today we are interviewing Kevin Huckle, CEO of Tyrol Pickleball. They make some of the finest shoes specifically for pickleball. And without further ado, here's my great conversation with Kevin. Hey, this is Buzz with The Pickleball University. We are a great e-magazine uh, talking all about all things pickleball. And today I am joined by none other than Kevin Huckle right over here, who is the CEO of Tyrol. If you've not heard of Tyrol, you're going to learn a lot in this uh, segment. Uh, Kevin, thanks so much for being with us, man. No, it's a pleasure to be here, Buzz. Yep. Uh, Kevin is a 40-year veteran of the shoe business, which is to say that he is like the Obi-Wan Kenobi of it, and uh, it's amazing the kind of work that he's done to build a specific shoe for the pickleball community, and uh, uh, no one better to talk about it than Kevin, and uh, a remarkable product, I gotta say, man, unbelievable. Well, it's been a passion of love. And hate at times. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So some of the stuff that we love in life gives us pain. I get Isn't it. Isn't that yeah. the truth? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I myself was a diehard Nike wearer, and uh, and Kevin got a hold of me uh, September of last year, and uh, I practically sleep in these shoes. They're really terrific, and um, I know many of the concerns of players out there are around comfort, uh, stability, breathability, and durability. Those kinds of things all matter, and Kevin uh, took that formula and worked it to a... a perfection I have to say is unbelievable well we delivered our first product and uh, found that the rubber was too soft yeah. and uh, the soles wore out on our shoes um, it cost us a lot of money to uh, replenish inventory and to uh, make our consumer happy which we did yeah. and uh, chose to learn from that yep. and came back uh, stronger than ever and uh, partnered with uh, our friends at Vibram and uh, made a whole world of difference. Yep. So the durability standpoint, um, there's not a there's not a better or harder wearing shoe in the marketplace. Yep. And what he's talking about isn't falling on deaf ears because most of you out there realize that what we play on is akin to sandpaper on steroids. It just chews up shoes left and right. And uh, Vibrant did a really terrific job of creating a, a sole for you guys that uh, is amazing. Yeah, they uh, actually, um, did a whole new formula just for this. Is that right? Uh, it's called Exabrade 40, and it's designed to be basically playing pickleball on heated sandpaper. Because not only are these silica grit surfaces rough, yep. they're also extremely hot when you get into the areas like here in Florida or Arizona, California, Texas. I mean, those are hot sur playing surfaces. Yeah, so. Really. It's basically akin to playing on hot sandpaper. Yep. Oh, yeah. And everybody knows in this business, whether you're playing with balls or paddles or shoes, uh, stuff wears out. But uh, the, one of the best investments is the one that you don't have to keep making like week in and week out or month in and month out. And Kevin's product, in no small way, uh, it really stands up against uh, that uh, punishing surface. And uh, we were just talking about it today. We're in uh, southwest Florida today uh, doing this. And uh, it's got to be about 90 degrees degrees on the courts right now. Oh, easily. Yeah. yeah. And we're only in late February here. Um, and so as the summer approaches and everyone gets out there and playing, uh, you know, heat, sweat, and durability are big, big deals. Yeah, yep. for sure. And, you know, not to mention when you're playing on these heated surfaces, you know, you really do need a ventilated footwear product. Yep. Um, if you don't have that ventilation, you're not giving uh, your foot, which has about 100,000 sweat glands in the bottom of your foot, which no one seems to, to realize, but your feet actually perspire more than any other part of your body. And so when we identified that, we said, you know, you've got to give that perspiration a place to go and wick moisture away from the foot uh, so that because if it stays in the shoe it pools and if it pools you start slipping and if you start slipping you start getting blisters yeah. So we've tried to build all of that into the into the product and uh, We've been pretty successful at it because uh, people really know notably see the difference when they try our shit. Yeah. I uh, was kind of taken by it because I said to Kevin, what do you recommend for an insole? And he goes, you wouldn't want to do that. And I go, why? And he goes, because you're going to block one of the best parts of the shoe with this flow through ventilation kind of uh, of effect that they did where it really has the breathability and the ability to wick moisture away from the foot. And as again, as the months get hotter, uh, this is a big deal to people because that's how blisters get formed, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Uh, any kind of moisture starts slippage in your, in your foot. 
foot, especially in an action sport like pickleball. Yep. And the other thing that uh, Kevin did with the shoe, which we thought captured our imagination, is that there's a lot of starting and stopping, as you know, whether you're rushing up to the non-volley zone or you're going back to the service line uh, or lateral moves left to right. And he made a very a, a good accommodation in the toe box to allow for that very uh, activity, right? Right. And the, the biggest thing is in a, in a start-stop, you know, quick action movement. We looked at the kinetic movement of the sport on the court when mm -hmm. we designed our shoe. Yep. And uh, one of the key elements was that so many people who were testing our shoes said, just find me some relief that I don't get black toenails and bruised toes. Sure. And so we really worked hard at that. We developed a, a deeper uh, toe box. So not only is it wider, but it's also deeper. Mm -hmm. And and that uh, seems to have done the trick. I mean, people come back and say they can play hours in our shoe, yep. which, um, Sometimes it's a blessing and sometimes it isn't. <laughs> right. Particularly if you're losing, <laughs> yeah, right. then you don't care how comfortable it is. Exactly. Um, talk a bit about the heel because that's another integral part of the design, right? People very seldom realize that uh, heel fit is, a heel construction in a shoe is actually the engine that drives a shoe. If mm. you don't have good heel fit, um, you're not going to get any fit uh, in a in a and a shoe that you're going to go out and, and really work hard at with a forward and action type uh, movement. Uh, the heel needs to be locked into the back of the shoe and we have um, our, our, the, the curvature of our, of our shoe and the heel area actually locks it in with the, heel, with the Achilles tendon. Hmm. And so when you lock that, that heel fit in, you, you, you really want to eliminate any kind of um, side to side action movement right. in your shoe. The other thing that it does is that heel uh, piece works in conjunction with a TPU shank, which actually gives the shoe very strong rigidity to prevent ankle rollover. Yep. And that's another you know, injury that you know, we see on a regular basis in the sport of pickleball. Yep. So, well, stability, uh, certainly we've seen it on courts uh, where there's someone that either nearly rolls over an ankle or does, and the recovery time is significant. And, and sometimes as we get older. Yeah, you don't as we get like you used to. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and, and so then it becomes chronic, and then you're, then you're looking at maybe not playing uh, either very much or if at all. Yeah. Uh, so the investment in shoes is, uh, is probably at this point trumping uh, even the consideration of paddles. I mean, everyone talks about paddles. Shoes are, I think, pulling ahead of that in the discussion, right? Well, I think the difference being is, you know, paddles, you know, becomes a, a preference. You know, people like, you know, the feel of a paddle and, and the, can they get more power or spin or, you know, weights and whatnot. It's all important. but. Footwear is really integral to the health, to your health, to yep. your body health. And, and that's the biggest area uh, that we want to address when we're building our shoe, is to ensure that you can play the sport in you know, the, the best designed, uh, most st stable uh, footwear that, in, that can be made for the, for the sport itself. Absolutely. Well, one of the key things that we featured Kevin's uh, great footwear on the uh, EMAG uh, for, at uh, Pickleball University was that we're doing a whole thing on health. We've had a whole section on prehab and, uh, you know, and then we're going to have stuff on supplemental. And we thought it's a perfect place, as Kevin just mentioned, about overall health in general, beginning with the foot. And so uh, you can exercise and stretch all you want, but if you're wearing the wrong shoe for this demanding sport, you're probably looking at some kind of injury uh, despite your best efforts. Efforts. So uh, we're trying to be pretty holistic about it, and certainly, Kevin, thank you so much for sharing all the information on Tyrol. Roll, and uh, awesome. you're at TyrollPickleball.com, right? We are. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, TyrollPickleball.com. Yeah. Right. And you can go there. They're also in, featured in several uh, outlets that uh, you frequent to buy a lot of your pickleball gear, but you can go easily to their site, and uh, you guys ship pretty quickly, I think, right? We're pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Now that we can finally get supply. Yeah, yeah. That's, when, uh... that's no longer a problem too much, huh? <laughs> well, it's getting better. Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem he's got is that so many people love the shoe, he can't keep them in stock. <laughs> so it's not so much a chain supply chain issue as it is a demand issue, which is a good problem to have. Uh, my thanks again to Kevin for joining us and uh, telling us all about his terrific shoes. If you have not checked them out, do so uh, at your uh, local outlet uh, or uh, order a pair and be, become a believer and uh, can't say enough about that. Thanks for joining us here at 
Pickleball University. Again, this is Buzz. We will talk to you again soon. Really appreciate Kevin taking some time to talk with us here at Pickleball University about tire roll pickleball shoes. They are definitely worth getting, and they are specifically designed for the game, as you heard. So uh, take advantage of getting those. If you do, go to tyrollpickleball.com and use our 10% discount code, which is PB University. That's PB University for 10% off for your pair of Tyrol shoes. You will not regret it, I am sure. Uh, for more information on Pickleball University, come to pickleballuniversity.com for our weekly e-magazine and see all the latest happenings in the world of pickleball there. Great information uh, source for you for the game. Uh, this is Buzz. We will talk with you again soon and look forward to catching up with you on the courts. Thanks.